one. It's Corin. And you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi, Corin. Stop using my lipstick. Okay, to prepare the mold, uh, the acrylic mold, all you're going to need is uh, olive oil. All right, you're going to need olive oil and a Q-tip. And what I did is basically I just Q-tipped inside the cavity. I'm just going to use one. If you're using all of four cavities, of course, prepare all of them. If you're using the metal one, you don't need to do this. All right, so just make sure you just put a little bit of um, olive oil right into the cavity so that way the product don't stay alright and basically you're just going to fill the cavity with your mixture alright so here's my mixture and I'm just going to carefully fill the cavity with the mixture all the way to the top just like that so you can see alright and I have enough in here to probably make two so I'm going to make two it's beautiful so that makes sure makes two all right and I'm just going to let that sit in here for a few more minutes until it gets a little bit um, sticky but not solid and then we're going to put this in the freezer okay so as you can see it thickened a little bit all right and it's going to be easier to transfer it to our freezer and in the freezer you're going to need to keep that for just five minutes if you're going to refrigerate it okay and then you're going to need 10 to 15 minutes in the refrigerator okay so while our lipsticks are setting in the freezer I just want to go over some optional products or ingredients that you can actually add to your lipstick and uh, this one is a mica and this is a duochrome mica and this is duochrome purple because I'm working on a lavender color and micas have different effects in it it's going to add shimmer to your lipstick and this particular one is going to add a duo color uh, shimmer to the lipstick as you can see it changes from like blue and purple depending on how light hits it so that's going to add some effects on the lipstick of course if you guys love glitter you can add some glitters to your lipstick okay and you can pretty much just do whatever color of your choosing you put silver or 3d or gold um, but make sure it's microfine glitter and it's approved for the lips okay and you can also um, add some fragrance oil and this is love 10 which is designed for lips again available at TKB so that's called fragrance 10 or no love 10 fragrance oil and you can also add some flavor and of course my favorite of course is coconut and my sister loves coconut as well but you can buy these at the baking aisle of your favorite grocery store all right and these are used for cake making and candy making and stuff like that cookies um, and they're just flavoring coconut flavor it's up to you vanilla whatever you're choosing all right so while our lipstick is still setting in the freezer this would be a good time for me to let you guys know that your lipstick your empty lipstick bullet has to be in the full up position all right where this plastic part right here is sticking up all right so this is where you twist and it goes up so make sure that you kind of preset that so that it's in the full up position and most of these empty uh, lipstick bullets or lipstick container has kind of like a clicking sound so when it reaches the very very top it clicks and also when it reaches the very very bottom all right so make sure that it's on the top position now this is also a great opportunity for you guys to recycle some old lipstick all you need to do is empty the lipstick container and then you're going to be able to recycle those lipsticks and uh, if you do that or if you're also going to buy just regular empty lipstick from a store I would highly suggest using a q-tip and a little bit of alcohol and just sanitize the inside part a little bit alright and then you're going to be able to use the lipstick container that you have okay so once everything is completely scraped off and it's flushed against the top of the mold all you need to do is really really carefully and gently remove the top part and do not brush this part okay 
So this is the part where you need to take as much time as you can to gently remove the top part because you're going to break the bullet if you rush this part. So it just easily comes off, all right, just like that. Now you're left with the bottom part with part of the bullet sticking out. All right, what you're going to need to do is replace the top part with the secondar secondary topper, all right, and then just make sure to align that with the bullet and then make sure to push it down to click to place alright and then you're ready to use your lipstick casing okay and then you're ready for your lipstick casing so again make sure that it's in full upright position and all you need to do is press it down okay and then gently once again do not rush this part you just need to pull it out and you have beautiful lipstick bullet that comes out of that. Look how gorgeous that is. And then the next thing I'm going to do is basically twist and retract the bullet so it's in the full complete down position. Put my cap back in. There you have it. And to give it a little bit of a personal touch you can sign it or create a sticker. And I have a sticker that says Encore Makeup. And I'm just going to put that uh, right about over there and then it's got your personalized kind of logo whatever you know you can just sign it if you want or you can write a little message whatever if you want to name it then you can put a sticker in the bottom of the color and um, that's definitely going to uh, give it a little bit of a personalized color as well reflecting your own uh, customization per se so there you have it Okay, so now you know how to make your own lipstick, and no, I'm not going to make one for you. <laughs> Just don't have time, but uh, this is what this video is about, so that you can learn how to make them. And of course, check out TKB Trading at their website, tkbtrading.com, for all the ingredients that I use and more. Of course, they carry a lot more uh, stuff than lipstick products, but, um, you know, to make your own makeup uh, type thing. And uh, definitely look into the molds because you can save so much money. The acrylic molds, 40 bucks, I believe. Yeah, $40. And, you know, that will pay itself, you know, within six months. Depends on how many lipsticks and how much money you spend on lipsticks. Um, and just make your own, you know. And the fun of it all is actually custom creating lipstick for you. And um, if uh, you want to invest a little bit more money on a little bit more of a professional mold, then definitely look for the uh, metallic mold, just like this one. So easy to use, much like the acrylic one, and it's easier to manipulate. You don't have to be as careful. And uh, that's pretty much it. And thank you so much for joining me. And hopefully I'll you know, come up with more stuff, you know, homemade things for you guys to uh, make and save a little bit of money. So make sure to subscribe to this channel, comment below, and also forward this video to your friends, family, whoever you think can uh, use some homemade customized lipstick. Yay! And uh, until next time guys, thanks for joining me. Bye!